What's going on, Elite Family? This is Tyler Green Regiment. Today is day five, and you should definitely be feeling a little bit sore today, but that's okay. We have two more days to go, and then you have a nice little rest day. So today's workout, now this was a favorite workout in month one, and I know it's going to be another favorite workout for month two. It's called Crisis Cardio. Now, if you know Crisis Cardio, then you'll like this version because it's going to be just as difficult, but we're just going to do a few different exercises. Some of the exercises from month one, I carried over here to month two, but listen, it's going to be 10 exercises and each exercise is going to be one minute long and it's nonstop. So you do every exercise for one minute. That's going to be a total of 10 minutes. You're going to take about a two to three minute break and then you're going to do that again for two more rounds. So it's a total of three rounds all together. And then eventually, maybe by week four, you won't even need that little break in between. Like me, when I first started, I definitely needed that break. Now I no longer need that break and I'm positive you'll be the same way. So this is Crisis Cardio, it's fantastic. It's all about burning that fat. It's unbelievable, so you know what? Let's just get started. Oh, also by the way, make sure that you're watching each one of our videos because even if you do some of these workouts in the future, I'm gonna be making little alterations to make the exercises a little bit more challenging for you, which when it all said and done, it's gonna be more beneficial to you anyway. So just keep that in mind. So watch the videos and then go ahead and do the workout. So this first exercise, it's called bear crawls. Now, depending on how much space you have will determine how far forward and backwards you can go, but you really don't need that much space at all. And you're simply gonna crawl, making sure that your abs are tight the entire time, and then you're gonna crawl backwards and go forward and backwards for one straight minute. You don't have to worry about speed here because we're working on form right now, but the next time we do this, we'll start to pick up the speed. Next exercise, these are called floor hops. So the way the floor hops are done is you can get into this type of position where your abs are nice and tight, hands are right here in front of you. You can hop to each side, just like that. Now, some of you are looking like, there's no way in the world I could do that, Ty, but I have a modification for you. Just simply get into this position and just hop. That's all you have to do. That's if you cannot do the floor hops the way that I do them, but by the end of the month, you will be able to. So third exercise is the jump rope. And you know how to jump rope. Everybody knows how to jump rope. Just make believe there's a jump rope in your hand and just jump. One minute long. Next exercise, these are called hip thrusts. Yes, they're tough, but I have a alteration for that as well. So with the hip thrust, when you finally land on the ground, you're gonna come up. Now, if you can't come up all the way on your heels, you can stop here, but eventually I want you to come up here. Push off the ground, up. All right, so now we're gonna roll right, which are plank punches. So you're gonna get into a push-up position, Gonna come down, hit the floor, and punch on the full extension all the way up at the top. Punch, just like that. Now the modification, you can simply do the push-ups right on your knees, and punch, and punch. So what happens is if you're getting tired, then that's how you can just drop down right to the modification and keep it going. So next exercise, we're gonna do squat pulses. So with the squat pulses, you're not gonna come all the way up as you would on the squat and you're not gonna go all the way down as you would on the squat. You're gonna stay right here and you're gonna pulse it out. Make sure that weight is on the heel. Make sure your knees are not over your toes and you're gonna pulse it out just like that for one minute straight. Yes, your glutes, your hamstrings will be burning. Next, we're gonna go right into the speed run. You want those knees all the way up and we're running for one minute straight. From there, next exercise, we're gonna do just like we did last month, and we're gonna do lunges. So with the lunge, you wanna make sure that you land nice and soft, but the weight is on the heel, and you push back. Just like that, that's the lunge. Two more exercises to go. Next exercise, we're gonna do plank knee to chest, but unlike what we did last month, we're gonna bring both knees to our chest. So get in the high plank position, bring the knees in, out. Knees in, out. 
that eventually you'll go that fast. But you don't have to worry about that right now. And as a modification to that, you can just bring them in as much as you can. Final exercise, these are called running plank obliques. So you're gonna get into this, uh, you can actually start in a high plank position. And you're gonna run to the right, then run to the left, come down to the middle, and run, just like that. So you're really working the obliques here. And you keep your hands down, your hands aren't moving. So it's all oblique work right here. Helping you build up that nice strong core. So that's the end of round one. Again, 10 exercises, one minute each. You can simply just set your timer for 10 minutes and just go all the way through. And then of course you gotta do that two more times. So that's three rounds. Thank you for watching Crisis Cardio Part 2. This is it. This is how we're gonna do this. So make sure, well, you know what I want you to do? Pick an exercise here that you like or that you hate the most. Make a video for us and send it because we want to share it. Make sure you pass these videos around to your friends and family. Check us out on YouTube as well. Follow us everywhere at Green Regiment, and we'll see you for day number six.